Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed, made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, Pray for us. Saint Joseph, Pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, Pray for us. San Roque, Pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, Pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, Pray for us. Good morning, brothers and sisters. Please stand as we begin our Eucharistic celebration. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, as we come this Saturday in this Eucharistic celebration, we honor and venerate Our Lady. And we also ask her today to teach us how to be little and humble again. To prepare ourselves to celebrate this Holy Mass, let us first acknowledge our sins and humbly ask the Lord for His pardon and strength. Lord Jesus, you are mighty God and Prince of Peace. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are Son of God and Son of Mary. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are Word made flesh and splendor of the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who chose the Blessed Virgin Mary, foremost among the poor and humble to be the mother of the Savior, grant, we pray, that following her example, we may offer you the homage of sincere faith and place in you all our hope 
of salvation. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. Our reading from the book of the prophet Ezekiel. The word of the Lord came to me, Son of man, what is the meaning of this proverb that you recite in the land of Israel? Fathers have eaten green grapes, thus their children's teeth are on edge. As I live, says the Lord God, I swear that there shall no longer be anyone among you who will repeat this proverb of Israel. For all lives are mine, the life of the Father is like the life of the Son. Both are mine, only the one who is sins shall die. If a man is virtuous, if he does what is right and just, if he does not eat on the mountains, nor raise his eyes to the idols of the house of Israel, if he does not defile his neighbor's wife, nor have relations with a woman in her menstrual period, if he oppresses no one, he gives back the pledge received for a debt, commits no robbery, if he gives food to the hungry and cloth the naked, if he does not lend an interest nor exact usury, if he holds off from evil doing, judges fairly between a man and his opponent, if he lives by the statutes and is careful to observe by ordinances that a man is virtuous, he shall surely live, says the Lord God. But if he begets a son who is a thief, a murderer, or lends at interest and exacts usury, this son certainly shall not live, because he practiced all the abominations, he shall surely die. His death shall be his own fault. Therefore, I will judge you, house of Israel, each one according to his ways, says the Lord God. Turn and be converted from all your crimes, that they may be no cause of guilt for you. Cast away from you and all the crimes you have committed, and make for yourselves a new heart, and a new spirit. Why should you die, O house of Israel? For I have no pleasure in the death of anyone who dies, says the Lord God. Return and live. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Create a clean heart in me, O God. Create a clean heart in me, O God. A clean heart create for me, O God, and steadfast spirit renew within me. Cast me not out from our presence, and your Holy Spirit take not from me. Create a clean heart in me, O God. Give me back the joy of your salvation, and willing spirit sustain in me. I will teach transgressors your ways, and sinners shall return to you. Create a clean heart in me, O God. For you are not pleased with sacrifices, should I offer a burnt offering. You would not accept it. My sacrifice, O God, is a contrite spirit, a heart contrite and humbled. O God, you will not spurn. Create a clean heart in me, O God. Please stand.
Blessed are you, Father, Lord of heaven and earth. You have revealed to little ones and mysteries of the kingdom. Alleluia, 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 alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Children were brought to Jesus that he might lay his hands on them and pray. The disciples rebuked them, but Jesus said, Let the children come to me, and do not prevent them, for the kingdom of heaven belongs to such as these. After he placed his hands on them, he went away. Brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Jesus says in the Gospel, Let the children come to me and do not prevent them, for the kingdom of heaven belongs to to such as these. Jesus is trying to teach us that the kingdom of heaven belongs to those who are like little children. Ang kaharian ng Diyos ay naroon sa mga tao na mga mapagkumbaba katulad ng mga bata. That is why, my dear brothers and sisters, in this short gospel passage, Jesus is teaching us again to learn again how to be little, how to be lowly, how to be humble. We see in our gospel passage today the difference. If you are lowly and little, or are you like the apostles, the disciples? Maybe the disciples feel that they are already big. They are the disciples of Jesus. That is why they are able to prevent the children from coming to Jesus. Ah, makapangyarihan na kami. Kami ang mga alagad ni Jesus. Kaya kayong mga maliliit, wag na kayong lumapit kay Jesus. Many times, my dear brothers and sisters, we feel big. Our attitude, our way of doing things, we feel like we are the master. We have forgotten how to become little and lowly and humble again. One time I uh, caught myself. Mayroong nagpapaschedule sa akin na magmisa ako sa isang maliit na barangay chapel. At ito ang reply ko sa kanya. Sabi ko, 
let me just check with my secretary if I have a prior appointment. Sabi ko, naisip ko sa sarili ko nung nabasa ko ulit yung reply ko sa kanya, wow, na-assign ka lang sa katedral, meron ka ng prior appointment. When I was assigned in a small parish, whenever a person would approach me, I could say yes immediately. But now, they have to proceed to the secretary so that they could enter into my appointment. The mission now is not mission, but appointment. How big have I become? How big have I felt myself to be? Masyado na akong importante siguro sa sarili ko, sa tingin ko. Sabi nga natin sa salita natin, hindi ka na ma-reach. My dear brothers and sisters, many times we feel that we are so big that we cannot be reached by people and you can only be reached through appointments. And sometimes, like the disciples, we also feel that we are deserving, deserving of many things. Uh, you are the little ones, you don't deserve to be close to Jesus. It is only I who deserve to be close to Jesus. When we have learned that we have become a big person, many times we will forget how to become lowly, little, and humble again. That is why, my dear brothers and sisters, today, our Lord Jesus reminds us that sometimes we need to learn to strip ourselves again of any power, of any prestige, of any possessions, so that we could become little again in front of God. And when you are little again in front of God, you will learn how to trust fully and completely in Jesus. And you will also be always, you will also learn how to always say yes to God's mission. Kapag natutumuli tayong maging maliit, maging mapagkumbaba sa harapan ng Diyos, matututumuli tayong magtiwala sa Kanya, hindi sa sarili nating kakayanan, hindi sa kapangyarihan, hindi sa pangalan at titulo ang ating pagtitiwala matututunan natin sa Diyos lamang. At kapag tayo ay buong-buong nagtitiwala sa Panginoon, muli tayong makakasabi palagi ng yes, oo palagi sa misyon ni Jesus. Baka minsan sa sobrang taas ng tingin natin sa sarili natin, kahit si Jesus, kailangan pang magpa-appointment sa atin. Hindi na natin kayang sumunod sa misyon. Let us learn how to be little and humble again. Let our prayer this day be like the prayer of God for Israel in our first reading from the prophecy of Ezekiel, when God calls Israel to forget all crimes, all wrongdoing, to strip ourselves of all of these crimes and make for ourselves a new heart and a new spirit so that we could follow God unreservedly. Let us ask Our Lady, the humble virgin of Nazareth. 
she was lowly, she was humble, she was poor, she had nothing, but her only trust is in God. That is why she was able to say yes to God's mission. Let us pray through the intercession of Our Lady that like her, we might become little again in front of God and fully trust in Him. Amen. Please stand. With confidence, we come and present our deeds to God our Father, who loves all His children. For every petition, let us say, Let your hand be upon us, Lord. Let your hands be upon us, Lord. That the Church of the Homes may be built an unselfish love, and that families may know and understand the depth of God's love. Let us pray to the Lord. Let your hand be upon us, Lord. That married couples may be sensitive to each other's needs and find true happiness in their lives together. Let us pray to the Lord. Let your hand be upon us, Lord. That parents may bless their children with attention, caring and love let us pray to the lord let your hand be upon us lord the children and those who are considered weak in our society may be supported by those who have more in life let us pray to the lord let your hand be upon us lord that eternal peace be granted upon those who have died let us pray to the Lord. Let your hand be upon us, Lord. Father, your kingdom belongs to little children. Hear the prayers of your children who trust in you. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His Holy Church. Receive, O Lord, the offerings of our devotion and grant that we who celebrate your Son's work of boundless charity, may, through the example of the Blessed Virgin Mary, be confirmed in love of you 
and of our neighbor. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, to praise your mighty deeds in the exaltation of all the saints, and especially as we celebrate the memory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, to proclaim your kindness as we echo her thankful hymn of praise. For truly, even to earth's ends, you have done great things and extended your abundant mercy from age to age. When you looked on the lowliness of your handmaid, you gave us, through her, the author of our salvation, your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Through him, the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The Mystery of Faith We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray 
that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him and with Him and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us now offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Brothers and sisters, the body of Christ. Amen. Act of Spiritual Communion my Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Please stand. Let us pray. Grant to your church, O Lord, that strengthened by the power of this sacrament, she may eagerly walk in the pathways of the gospel until she reaches the blessed vision of peace which the Virgin Mary, your lowly handmaid, already enjoys eternally in glory. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless all of you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Thank you.